ES Audio. Hi, I'm Mark Blunden and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the colourful explosion of flowers growing on Earth's most parched spot. But first, the James Webb Space Telescope has captured some jaw-dropping views of Jupiter. The images show phenomena such as auroras and giant storms swirling around the gaseous giant. Views of the solar system's largest planet were then coloured to make the features pop as the infrared light used in the photographic process is not visible to the human eye. The composite photos show views in previously unseen detail of Jupiter's polar haze and its northern and southern lights. It means the Great Red Spot, a storm large enough to envelop Earth, looks white to the human eye due to the amount of sunlight it reflects. And where is the James Webb Space Telescope? Well, it's currently floating in space a million miles from Earth. Now, more on the legal saga of Elon Musk's attempted acquisition of Twitter. He's now lodged legal papers to summon the social network's founder Jack Dorsey to court. SpaceX and Tesla boss wants to end his bid to buy Twitter in a $44 billion deal amid claims the company had not provided enough information about the number of fake accounts on the platform. Musk's lawyers are hoping Dorsey will back Musk's argument over the company's data. Twitter is suing Musk to try and push through the deal at $54.20 per share, and it's looking like the whole sorry saga will end up in court in October, unless a settlement can be reached. Fibre optic technology is increasingly used to make hair-thin medical devices, helping doctors peer deep inside the human body. But the problem is, they take a long time to make until now. There's a drive to make ever smaller instruments because the smaller the instrument is, the less invasive the instrument actually is. That's Robert Thompson, a professor of physics and expert in photonics, which is a discipline that's all about the science of light generation. So we are interested in making millimetre or even sub-millimetre diameter instruments that, for example, we can pass far down into the distal lung where we can then image and sense diseases actually in the alveolar space of the lung. Using lasers, the team at Scotland's Heriot Watt University have developed a manufacturing technique they say cuts the time to make these delicate fibre optics from several hours to just a few minutes. There are other types of micro endoscope that don't have a camera at the distal end. They actually just have the optical fiber and then maybe a lens or a system of lenses that allow you to sense or image inside the body. And they are the type of fiber optic instruments that we're interested in developing. The findings were published in the peer-reviewed journal Optics Express. Now, Astronomers have for centuries analysed spots on the solar surface to calculate the sun's cycles. Now it's hoped a new way of examining the phenomena could help predict violent events that impact communications back here on Earth. It's called a solar clock and uses the magnetic field generated by the sun to predict solar flares, perhaps even years in advance, to help protect the likes of internet and phone networks technique examines a frequency called the circle of fifths and has been developed by Robert Lehman who's a scientist at the Partnership for Heliophysics and Space Environment Research. It's hoped the method could more accurately find sudden changes in the Sun's 11-year solar cycle. MacBook owners rejoice! Apple will offer customers tools and know-how to repair and service their newer model laptops at home months after launching the service for iPhones. Genuine parts and service tools will now be available and customers can buy the repair kits or rent it for one-time use. But self-repairs are being made possible only on the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro models with the newer M1 chips. It comes after Apple agreed to pay a $50 million settlement in a class action lawsuit related to the butterfly keyboards on some older model MacBooks. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, the driest place on earth is blooming, a colourful fairyland. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. Research is suggesting that estimating people's cognitive age from scans can help identify multiple risk factors for a prematurely ageing brain. The University College London Dementia Research Centre found that worse heart health at age 36 
predicted a higher brain age later in life. UCL researchers also found that men tend to have old brains than women of the same age. According to the study, higher brain age is associated with slightly worse scores on cognitive tests and it's also predicted increased brain shrinkage over the following two years. A rare flower has bloomed in one of the world's oldest and most arid regions, the Atacama Desert in northern Chile. But despite the dryness, the region actually bursts into life every few years and it's happening once more with a forestry worker capturing a beautiful blooming carpet that covers the valleys and hills. The desert sprung to life after a deluge of rain, which is known as Desertio Florido, or Flowering Desert. And finally, real-life Bambi is doing well after being born at a British zoo. The mother of the endangered Philippine spotted deer is said by zookeepers to be happy and healthy after her new arrival at Nuki Zoo. The fawn is yet to be named, but was up on its feet within minutes of being born and following its mother Belle around the enclosure. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for The Leader from the Evening Standard here in London and we'll be back on Wednesday at 1pm. See you then.